let's get to the facts here. Let me show you in the calendar form what's going on. All right, so let me tell you what is really going down and how all these delays really got started. Cutting out the bullshit that people would want you to believe. February 2020th. I'm only going to talk about three games here. Screw all the other games because these are kind of the biggest deals. February 21st, The Last of Us Part 2 was announced to be released. I believe it was the first game of these three to be announced with a release date. The 21st of February. Let's get into the the big daddy of all the games that really caused all this movement, Final Fantasy VII, and why I believe Final Fantasy VII the most. Then the big hitter comes out to play. March 3rd, Final Fantasy VII Remake was supposed to come out. That is a week after The Last of Us 2. Now, let me remind you the successes of Outbreak Day, everything going Naughty Dog's way, presumably the hype, the highest. Final Fantasy VII gets dropped for the third. That hype dies. I myself am quoted as saying, why are those release dates so close? Why would The Last of Us come out a week before Final Fantasy VII? Why would it compete? Then I should have saw this. I should have made a video on it and talked about it. However, I didn't, though those were my thoughts. This gets dropped. Now, let's keep moving forward. So we have this little battle, because that's a battle. A week later, two, two, two huge games in a week. Now, there are tons of games, of course, but these are huge games. Let's not kid ourselves into saying that these aren't two of the biggest titles coming out. Oh, disregarding those other things on this April 20, so we're fast forwarding now. Final Fantasy VII, remember, was supposed to come out on March 3rd. The date for Cyberpunk was April 16th, a month later. Well, uh, actually, more than a month. Okay, that's fine. You know, that's enough time for you to play one game and move on to another and actually get into the game and do everything. And you know, that's definitely enough time. Um, but that's not the case. See, after The Last of Us Part Two delay... Final Fantasy VII said, okay, uh, you know, no competition, whatever. Let's delay our game to the 10th, citing, as The Last of Us did, quality and polish issues. Now, I do believe Final Fantasy VII, it's only a month delay. We're not talking that long here. In fact, it's the shortest out of all the delays. So, Cyberpunk team realizes that Final Fantasy VII gets delayed to the uh, 10th of April, which their date is the 16th. This is actually less than a week uh, between, again, two out of the three bigger titles of this year. So we had the, the week switch between The Last of Us and Final Fantasy, right? The, the 21st to the 3rd. Then we got Final Fantasy, then Cyberpunk, the 10th to the 16th. That didn't work for Cyberpunk, and I wish I got this video out way sooner about my prediction about this getting delayed. Cyberpunk then delays itself all the way to September. I didn't even make a freaking thing for that because that's five months after than when it was supposed to come out. Quite frankly, the games don't want to compete to, uh, together. And look, Resident Evil is supposed to come out the 3rd of April. You think Final Fantasy VII gives a shit? You think they care at all? Hell no, man. I, I think this is a weak move by Cyberpunk, and I think it's a weak move by The Last of Us to alter your schedule around Final Fantasy VII. I don't care if you're all friends. I don't care if you're all Sony. I don't care. I don't care about none of that. I care about the healthiness and competition of gaming, going out there and picking a game because that is the best game available to you to buy. I want to see those sales. I don't want you to be like Nintendo Switch. You come out with your first console first, and you come out with Zelda. Clearly, you have nothing to compete with in the field. Your only other opposition was Horizon Zero Dawn, a Sony exclusive for Game of the Year. I don't want to see that kind of shit, because it's not fair. It, it, to someone who's real, likes competition, it doesn't promote that. And you 
two companies so afraid of Final Fantasy. You guys could have been the ones to knock them off their perch. Of course you wouldn't have, like I said before, Final Fantasy VII is too huge for both of those titles put together, honestly. Uh, so what do you think? Do you think the reasons that you've been told why their delay is bullshit? Or do you find yourself believing a little sliver of what I'm talking about, the lack of competition, and I've given multiple reasons across many videos. It, it, the, the competition, you don't want to compete with Final Fantasy VII. The game's just not ready at all. The Last of Us, something's wrong with it. Three month delay, when a game gets delayed, there's usually something wrong, whether it be business or the game itself. Usually, they will never tell you it's a business thing. They will always tell you that they're working on the game to make it this or that. So delays are not good. I don't care what nobody says. Delays are not good things. They end up being good things. However, a delay is never a good thing. Well, they potentially, hopefully, end up being good for the game, right? Because you would hope that the things that they need to fix get fixed. However, that's if you believe the game is already broken in some way. We need to change our, our idea of delays. Uh, I, I gave those two reasons. I, I gave uh, it, it's total, total BS um, as well as just being a reason uh, delaying your game for the simple fact that why the hell is there no content? Final Fantasy VII at least has a demo out there. I don't hear or see anything about Cyberpunk dropping a demo and or The Last of Us dropping a demo. So again, on the side of Final Fantasy VII here, thanks for the content. The demo got hacked by some people played it. You know, I didn't, I don't care, whatever. I, I don't really care less about the demo. It's the fact that it's content and it's out there. So that's another point for Final Fantasy VII. 2020 is the year of delays. I'm so sorry about the video this time. It was not my content at all uh, for it to be end up this way, but I'm glad it did uh, because I, I want to give the real out there and there's a lot of bullshit floating around. Play testing some more. You're done. The game is done. And oh, and the, the coup de gras of the reasons why these games got delayed and the biggest reason again while Final Fantasy 7 wins is because Final Fantasy 7 is in installments so it has an opportunity to showcase itself fully on the PlayStation 5. The Last of Us Part 2 and Cyberpunk do not have they don't get to do that unless they remake and remaster and do and re-release re their game again cross-platform which I am totally against. If you were going to delay your game to September Cyberpunk Delay that shit to February and come out on the PlayStation 5. You no balls have an ass game. The Last of Us Part 2. And your pretentious ass Neil Druckmann. Have the balls if you were going to delay it so long. So long. Make it for the PlayStation 5. I'm GK. It's been another episode of the talk show. Thanks for coming through. Keep your head up out there when things get tough. Uh, always try to go for what you gotta go for. I don't. I don't have a good sign out. Just, just roll the outro. This is sickening. I can't make this stuff up. I had a huge prediction for you all that Cyberpunk 2077 was going to get delayed. I went to make my video. I looked it up. And I knew it was going to get delayed. That was why I was going to make this video prediction. Seven hours ago, it got delayed to September. I'm going to tell you the real reason why. 